You are the of it all. You are the of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. You deserve the glory. Hi, happy Friday. It is Feedback Friday. It is March 17th, 2023. And I'm so happy to be here in front of you all, just giving you some encouragement for today. And um, today's today's piece of encouragement, of encouragement, <laughs> of encouragement is to keep your head to the sky and give God all the glory because we live in such a wicked world and this world is one that, you know, once you don't give it what it needs, it can turn on you really quickly. But God will never do that. He will never fail you. He will never turn on you. So I just employ you today to give him all the glory in the good times and in the bad times, in the sad times and in the happy times, in the weary day, on your weary days and on your energy filled days, because God is always working on your behalf if you accept that he is doing that and know that Christ is with you through it all, through it all. Sometimes I like to sit and record a few of these little messages, just how I'm feeling and remind us that life could get worse or it could get easier, it could better, get better, or it could be better, it could not be better. You can go through a million things. It's really up to you on um, how you want to move forward in your life. It's not anybody's opinion that should shape your whole life. It's not anybody's um, feedback that should give you, um, hmm, give you assurance that you're going to live a certain way. It really should be God's purpose and plan for your life. And you're able to take feedback based on what God is saying for your life. Sometimes so many people speak things to you about you and what you should do and you change, I've done that, and I've changed everything based on people's words of what they liked about it or what they didn't like about it, how they did. So I drove myself a little bit uh, torn between trying to please people and trying to actually do and be me. Nobody knows you like God knows you. Nobody knows your purpose like God knows your purpose. People may see things in you, people may, be able to speak word and life into you. And that's all wonderful. And that's great. But the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all other things will be added unto you. So when you are seeking him first, his kingdom, his kingdom, and you know that seeking God's kingdom, when you know that seeking God's kingdom is understanding that you have authority in the kingdom of God because you are seeking him. You are putting him first. You're not putting other people first. I don't care how much you love them. Um, God knows best and will give you the peace that you need through the seeking, through the seeking. Okay. Um, seek him and he will be found. And I say all that to say, sometimes we waste so much time doing what we think will look good for other people or, or, or to the world when we don't realize we're in this world to, to shift something, to change something, to shake it up in a way that we are created to do so. There's billions and billions and millions and trillions and trillions of people, but God, yet God still saw fit to make you uniquely different and allow you to put your own stamp on the world in the midst of all of these people. 
So be encouraged today. Bye.